Hello everyone, it's Mr. Stock here. Today I'm going to be going through some games you can do to practice our throwing and our catching skills. Um, and if you don't have a ball that you can use, an easy item that you can find in your house is a ball of socks. So two socks put together into a ball. Um, you could use a piece of paper that you crumble up into a ball if you don't have one, or you can use a ball if you do have one. But we're just going to start by doing some quick catching activities to get our hands warmed up. So, let's go ahead and follow along with me. Let's start by tossing in the air and just catching it. So I gotta go over my head. Alright, let's switch hands. Remember when you're catching, you always want to keep your eyes on an object. So you can work on that hand-eye coordination. Okay, let's switch hands. So toss it one hand, catch with the other. Toss it one hand, catch with the other. All right, now can you come up with some kind of trick and catch it? So maybe you have some different ones. Let's try them out right now. Basket. We're going to use this laundry basket for a quick one minute challenge. I'm going to set my timer on my phone for one minute. You can set your timer too. But as soon as I hit play, I'm going to toss my ball of socks in the air and try to catch it by flipping my basket over and making it land inside of it. I'm going to see how many times I can do it in one minute. So get ready, get set, go. Toss, flip, catch. One. Now that we've warmed up our tossing and catching skills, we're going to do a little challenge. And now you're just going to need a laundry basket, and we're still going to use that ball of socks that we just had. Now, I am going to then make a marker for a spot that's a certain distance away from the laundry basket. You can choose the distance that you'd like to do. The closer you are, the easier it'd be. The farther, the more challenging. So you choose a level that you're comfortable with. Now, I'm just using the spot so I know where to toss from, but I'm going to put it down where I want it, and then when I toss it, we're going to work on our underhand throwing skills, just like we've practiced at school before. So when I throw underhand, I bring it back, I step with my opposite foot, and I throw and try to get it to land in the laundry basket. So I'm going to do a couple practice throws to practice at this distance. So I just get it back, I go back to my spot, bring it back, step, throw, if I miss, no big deal. I come and get it, and I keep trying. Let's do one more practice. Bring it back, step, throw. Perfect. Now that I've warmed up, I'm going to play a game to see how many times I can make it in the basket in one minute. If you have a partner or someone else that can play with you, you can take turns and time each other. But I'm going to set one minute on my phone, and then I'm going to see how many times I can make it in the basket in one minute. Now anytime I miss, I can't count that, but I always have to come back to the circle spot before I can throw it again. Let's see if I can get at least 10 in a minute. Here we go.
game that we can play with our ball of socks and our laundry basket is a game called Make It, Take It. So your job is to see how many spots that you can collect. If you don't have spots, you can use paper plates, you could use a t-shirt or a towel or any item really, but all you're going to do is you're going to stand on a spot or close to a spot if you don't want to step on it, and I'm going to stand next to that spot and try to toss it in the basket. Now, you can choose how hard you want it to be by spreading out the, bat the spots, but I'm going to toss the same way, bring it back, step, and throw. If I make it in the basket, I get to take that spot and add it to my collection. So if I'm playing against a partner, you can set a timer for one minute or longer or however long you want. And every time you make it, you start a pile somewhere for you. So maybe my pile's right here. And my partner has a pile over there. After a minute, you can see which partner got the most spots. Or if you're by yourself, you can just see how many you can collect in a designated time. So let's give it a try. Alright, I have one more game for you today using our laundry basket and our ball of socks. And this game is called Dice Box. So you're going to need a couple more items. You can get any dice that you might have, maybe take it out of a board game that you have. And I'm using a solo cup. You can really use anything that you can stack. But you want to put the dice on top of something um, like this. And then you're going to need a marker. So it can be a paper plate or um, a towel or a spot or a piece of tape. And I'm going to stand at that spot and I can have a partner with me. We can take turns or you can go by yourself. But just like we were doing earlier, I'm going to bring it back, step, and throw. Or if I want to throw overhand, I can turn my body sideways, point, step, and throw. And I want to try to hit the dice and make it fall off of that red solo cup. So when the game starts, if I can toss it and I don't knock it down, I just simply get it. I can give it to my partner if I have one, or I can go and it by myself. Now let's say this time I'm able to hit it. If I knock down the cup and the dice, if the dice falls, the number that lands on top, I roll a three, that's how many points I got. So I can write that down if I want. I can just remember in my head. But I'm gonna do this for about one minute and see how many points I can add up in 60 seconds. So let's give this a try. Here we go. Now.